from Century 21 Novocastrian and I've got Nicole, um, my investor consultant, here with me today. And we're just having a quick chat about how do you change managing agents? What's the process? Who does it inflict? Is there any out-of-pocket expenses? So I just thought Nicole could quickly tell you our process and, and how we make it such a smooth transaction for both tenant and landlord. So Nicole, can I terminate my current agent while my tenant's covered under lease? Yeah, absolutely. The current lease agreement remains the same when we take over the management of your investment property. Nothing actually changes with your current tenants. I don't like confrontation. Can you arrange it or what happens? Do I have to tell my current agent? No, of course. We actually do the process for you um, from our initial conversation right up until we take over the management of the property. So the entire process um, from completing that management agreement um, notifying your current agency and we will notify your tenant for you um, and to collect the keys from the current agent. So I don't have to contact them at all? Not at all. We'll do that all for you. Perfect. So there's no inconvenience to the tenant or to the landlord? No, no inconvenience whatsoever. As your managing agent, we actually do the hard work for you. Everything remains the same for your tenant and we'll contact them to notif notify them of the change of management. Do I need to pay any further charges or is there a fee for changing managing agents? Yeah, no, not on the initial changeover. So your standard management fee and administration fees will be charged at the time of your nominated payment request, whether that be mid or end of month. Depending where your tenant is up to in regards to the lease renewal, you will incur a lease renewal fee when that is applicable. In the instance where we need to relate your property, the letting fee, lease preparation fee and advertising fee would then be charged. So they're just all standard fees that I'd pay to my current agent. It just charges when they happen. Correct. So nothing costs me to change managing agents. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Awesome. Do I need to sign a new lease with my tenant? No. The current lease agreement remains the same. In the instant that your tenant's lease is due for renewal, or they are on a continual lease, we will discuss with you as the landlord the options and issue a lease renewal with you um, or with your current tenants um, once we've actually discussed that with you and under um, your instructions. Perfect. So what about the, the documents the tenant signs, the ingoing condition report, the application? Do I get that or do, do you take over that or does that stay with the current agent? No, as your current managing agent, um, what we will actually do is collect all that information from your your current agent. So agents. they'll pass over everything yeah, they've got. Absolutely. Fantastic. And what kind of termination period is there? Like, do I have to give them a week's notice? What is it to change? Yeah, to change your managing, gener generally it's 30 days termination notice. Um, unless your management agreement actually stipulates different. As a part of the process, we will issue the termination no notice on your behalf once we have your management agreement and consent to do so. Perfect, so it's pretty streamlined process, no out-of-pocket expenses, no inconvenience to the tenant, to the landlord? None at all. So if you're unhappy with your current agent, why not contact us today? I'm Casey Healy, Director of the Property Management Department, along with Nicole Hall, my BDM Investor Consultant. Give us a call today to chat further.